Here we have 1965 PD 4106. I'll give you a walk around of the uh, exterior here. <clears throat> Excuse me. The uh, front and rear bumpers are uh, polished aluminum. Wheels are Alcoa polished. Brand new tires. Less than a thousand miles on them. Twin dual therm, low profile ACs. Fantastic vents, front and rear. Wine guard, traveler system set up for direct TV currently. We can show you that a little later. Curb lights and backup lights uh, switched from the cab. Exterior light for a little bit of light underneath the canopy, the awning, which is a full wheel to wheel awnings <clears throat> on all the major windows. Air intake scoop, not done by me. The air intake, as you'll see later, the filter is in a vertical position inside the rear updated fiberglass rear section configured to tow rear camera this is not a backup camera it's actually a camera and there's the exterior lights Little wing on there for effect. Five inch exhaust. You'll see more of that in the engine bay. It is in a vertical configuration as well. CB radio with antenna, FM, AM antenna, updated fiberglass cap and headlights. Paint on it, somebody sprayed the uh, exterior with a tinted clear coat. And as you'll notice on the front here, starting to come off not a big deal just is showing its age and okay awnings out again zip d all the major windows Let's go inside. The step here is removable and resides in the bay when you're not using it. It's a handy little addition. 
with the door you can't see it as daylight but down in that corner as well as right here is LED light upgrade so that when the door comes open it's on a magnet trigger at a certain point it uh, lights up the steps so you can see Yes, catalytic heater front and rear. Recently replaced carpet throughout as well as some of the tile. Color scheme's a little dated, but it's intact. We did a little 66 theme on some of the trim. New vertical blinds throughout. Couches of jackknife. Seats are not electric. However, the passenger seat is air ride with control. Little dinette. Satellite and entertainment area. Should have took this off. Sam Samsung 32 inch that is articulating. Again, the front and rear is a control for the fantastic vents. This is obviously the front one. LED control for lighting, ambient lighting. Little cutting board that flips up. Stainless dual sink. Storage underneath. Get your margarita on with built in blender control. Oh, my Convection microwave. Hello, see my reflection. Nice open floor plan all the way to the kitchen. Dometic three-way RV refrigerator. Pantry. A little bit of a unique latch system here. storage for remotes and things.
Notice that this is an offset hallway. Most, uh, not most, quite a few of the conversions are straight through. This affords you some, some privacy. Voltage monitor. It's off right now because we're not plugged in. 30 amp shore power. New tile, floor tile in the bathroom. By the way, this is a composite countertop. Both places. Scallop mirror. Holding tank monitor system. Sliding facade. Dometic ceramic. Glass enclosed shower with tile. Okay. Below is what we use for larger blanket items and things. It's also lighted DC storage. All right, bedroom, we opted to uh, get rid of the RV bed, the Murphy, and went with the twin extra long mattresses. It helps with uh, my wife and her dogs. Uh, she gets to sleep with them and I don't. Again. The shades. It's a bright, nice bright floor plan. The uh, other fantastic vent. This is configured with an escape hatch. More storage either side. Up large storage area. There's actually some storage behind the mirror, a little inconvenient to get with, but it's there nonetheless. 110 and 12 volt lighting throughout. Cockpit, seat belt on both the control panel ACDC. Batteries are in good shape. Test one is house batteries, test two is the generator start battery. Delinquent controls from the original conversion that had basement air, no longer used. Panel still covers up nicely. Interior controls for the generator. My heart insert or insert inverter. <clears throat> All right. All the traditional 
gauges, controls. Manual air level system. We have the GPS, a little bit outdated. We have storage radio, DVD. It also plays video back to the television. And automatic control. Bays open. All right. They are carpeted. That optimum battery is the generator start battery. Isolated over here to itself, dry cell. A little bit of storage. All the way through. Bays are lighted. A little extra electric in this one. The gas struts have been wearing out on me. Arizona does not uh, treat them well. So I've made some permanents to kind of do this video. It's got a water heater, <clears throat> electric and propane. The slide goes both sides all the way. Holds lots of batteries and other stuff. Water system with pressure tank. Dual water pump, redundant, so that if one fails, you still got one going. No filter. This drains fresh water, or excuse me, the gray, into the black, which drains on the other side. Looks like it was originally configured to drain either or, but problematic. Battery with shutoff switch and isolator solenoid. One battery is all Arizona needs. Haven't been traveling up to the cold country. Two sometimes are necessary with a turbo because it's uh, a little fussy in cold weather. But this one has also the fluid start. We'll show you that later. All right. Battery tray slide, right currently configured with four six volt. Shut off switch, isolator, fuse. Notice the blue looking pipes. Those are vertical exhaust for the generator exhaust. We'll show you that when we start the generator. It's nice in campgrounds. LP and a little extra storage. Notice the red. Auxiliary fuel tank. Again, very quiet system here. Diesel, of course. A little compressor, it's nice, handy, different things. Frost to control. That uh, is the air control. Adjust for a throttle. Handy little input and output right there. In case you have to be towed or whatever, you need to apply air. You can fill the system right here. 
and we'll go on with the mechanicals. Engine bay. I know I'm going to get grief for this. Yeah, I should have washed the engine down. But, that's what an old Detroit looks like. Articulating RM access. That makes it pretty handy. You still knock your head if you're not watching. Turbo charged. There's how the exhaust heads up. Here's the intake plumbing. Filter is vertical and difficult to change. Up in there. You have to loosen the power steering pump, swing it out of the way, open the hatch panel where the automatic trans is, and then you can drop it right on out right through here. Allison has the uh, old style alternator generator, alternator generator, alternator. <laughs> I have a spare one with matching gear goes with it and some other things of course cooler in front of the radiator that's not uncommon from what I understand move it if you like next we'll fire this boy up okay let's fire up this 8k diesel Kubota generator up Probably don't need to preheat. It's pretty warm here in Arizona. Now I've been told This particular generator isolation is pretty daggone quiet compared to many that have been heard. So we'll let you decide. All right, remember the blue pipes? This is great in tight situations or parks or wherever. Even though diesel don't spark, you can put your exhaust up. And it's pretty daggone quiet. Last look, lights on, running AC-DC on the inverter.
Oops, forgot one. Can't see that very well. 